Today you're going to learn how to create professional level product images for your e-commerce or for your Shopify store or even if you're a job shipper and you're job shipping in a fashion or apparel niche or maybe some accessories, um, you would need to have professional level pictures. So in this case, I uh, will be taking an example of a t-shirt. So we'll imagine that we, we are running an e-commerce or Shopify store that is selling these type of t-shirts, right? So if I want to have pictures of these t-shirts not only on a white background but also something lifestyle meaning that i want to have this t-shirt on the actual person so in this case i have two options either i'm going to put this t-shirt on myself and i'll try to take really ter terrible pictures because i'm absolutely bad with camera and then i will need to figure out how to edit them retouch them fix the lightning and most likely at the end i will not like the pictures and i will end up hiring somebody who will take the pictures for me and that's going to cost an absolutely a lot of money all right so but not anymore not in 2025 we can use ai tools that will do the exact same job and you will get even better results than either you would be doing yourself or if you would be hiring a professional photographer and paying them to edit and retouch the entire thing and we're going to be covering two options so the first one is called seller pick okay so this is a platform that is uh, solely focusing on product images either accessories or apparel so here in examples we can see that you can have an accessory like glasses for example and you can model it on an actual AI model that essentially looks exactly like a real human okay so with a bit of editing and you have a lot of options how to edit it uh, what kind of lighting you want what kind of background you want and it's going to look pretty much uh, like it would be on a real person then we have a apparel again it's kind of the biggest struggle if you are selling apparel um, and you have a lot of options and variants again it's going to be hard even in a real case scenario either you're going to be trying them all yourself taking pictures then spending hours editing so right now you can just essentially upload a picture of a product and a model will wear it and it's going to look a professional level picture i'm going to show you that just in a sec and the option number two is going to be our old school chat gpt um, so essentially we can also use this as a professional e-commerce product editor in a sense all right so for that i'm going to be using these custom 10 prompts right here all right so i will be providing this doc as a free download so make sure to check out below the video in the description description box there's going to be a link to download this entire doc file for free and i will be showcasing all of these prompts today as well uh during the during the process of showcasing you all the tools guys okay so i will be using these exact prompts so if you like them so definitely go ahead and download them and use them for your next uh product uh product editing or creation process and stuff like that all right so let's go ahead and start with the seller pick so to use it it's really easy guys again go to the seller pick um app that seller pick that ai and again i will be including these links also in the description box with all the other links that i'm be using today or referencing so the way it works i'm gonna click on upload here i'm gonna uh click on upload uh, i don't think i have anything so i need to first obviously upload from the device okay and now i want to upload this specific t-shirt okay so um actually what i want i want to put it on a model right away so right now it's going to create a custom uh, picture so what i want actually I want to go with the virtual try on okay so here i'm going to upload it from my device and then i'm going to select the image and i was going to process and it's going to take a, take a bit of time to do the whole scanning thingy cool so now it's done uh we're going to select a model from the library okay so let's say for example let's go with this with this dude right here and we'll just click on confirm and this is looking good to me and i'm going to generate and as you can see the cost is only for credits and again with a free plan you get 20 credits which is pretty generous so you can actually generate quite a few pictures and if you like the platform you can go with a paid plan which is also reasonably priced in my opinion so right now i'm going to go ahead and generate with this one and it's going to take about two minutes which is totally fine it's fairly fast so let's give it a two minutes and i'll get back to you once it's done all right, and it's done. So it's looking pretty good. Let's try to download that as a JPEG. Okay, so we're gonna do a free download. Uh, probably it's gonna be with watermarks, but it's okay since we're doing a demo. 
Cool, so this is the final result. So let me just kind of uh, open it up. Let's zoom it in. So this was the, the model that we chose. And this is the t-shirt that we uploaded. So as you can see, it's pretty much spot on. It's one to one. And honestly, with maybe a bit more, I wouldn't even say editing, probably it's already edited well enough. So honestly, even uploading this to, to Shopify, maybe cropping it to something like one one or whatever portrait format, this essentially looks like a real person and it wouldn't be possible to even tell if it's real or not. And we can do essentially the same thing with accessories. So for example, I have these glasses right here, all right? So I have this picture and I already uploaded that to Seller Pick AI. And here we're gonna choose essentially a model to have these glasses on. So I'm gonna go with the first one. You can even adjust the area if it's kind of not fitting in the right way. So you can kind of adjust the area where the glasses should be. And then we're gonna just go ahead and generate and it's only costing us two credits, which is pretty crazy. Cool, so this is good to go. This is the final result. And let's just kind of compare with the glasses. So again, glasses in terms of the model, they are a one-to-one, -one, the one that we uploaded. And again, model itself looks pretty realistic. Again, you can choose from a bunch of different models, different angles, um, different lifestyle shots. And in my opinion, for such a low cost, only for two credits, you're getting uh, a bunch of cool product shots. That's a really, really good deal. And if you want to go to wet with the with the paid plan, and again, it's pretty generous. You can start for free and get 20 credits. The only issue is you're going to be getting watermarks. Um, but if you do like the platform, you can start at $29 a month. Again, it's pretty cheap if we're considering to wasting a lot of time doing it yourself. Or if it's option number two, where you need to actually hire a professional person to take pictures and edit them, that's gonna cost you definitely way more than $29 a month. All right, so that's the option number one for Celebrate. Again, it's really easy in a sense, it's beginner friendly. You don't need to think about the prompt or anything, how it's gonna come out. You already know the expectation, you upload the image of the apparel piece or, or I don't know, pants, jeans, t-shirts, stuff like that, and you already know it's gonna be looking good and you can choose different models lifestyle shots and same thing for accessories you can choose uh, what kind of a what kind of environment background what kind of model so a lot of options for a small price point and I definitely look all of them professionally so now let's move on to our chat GPT and let's see how that stacks up and how well it can handle uh, a task like this so I'm gonna start with a t-shirt so first I'm gonna upload a t-shirt I'm, I'm gonna go to our prompt list right here that you can download for free and what I'm going to do, um, let's choose one of these prompts right here. All right. So maybe let's go with this one. I think I need to adjust it slightly. So place this product into a realistic lifestyle scenario, reaching a person naturally wearing it. Okay. So I think instead of using it, wearing it because it's not an object, uh, it's something you have to wear. So let's go ahead and send that to ChatGPT and let's see how it can handle it. And if you're just getting into e-commerce and if you are new to Shopify, I highly recommend that you guys start with a Debutify AI-powered Shopify team because as a beginner, it's a quite a hassle to build Shopify store and design it and think about how to customize it and what it does. So Debutify solves all of that. In 2025, you have their AI store builder, which essentially you just explain to AI what kind of store you want an AI store builder will build a store for you and you will simply install that in your Shopify and you have a lot of templates to choose from. For example, you have a default one, you have the fashion, in this case is perfect for what we're doing. If you are into baby niche, or home decor, apparel, and a bunch of other templates, or if you don't wanna have template, you can ask the AI to build your Shopify store in terms of the theme and the design, okay? And it's gonna do entire thing for you and you won't have to spend hours designing it or hiring developers to create a custom team because this team is super fast. It's one of the fastest Shopify teams out there and it's gonna be looking good on desktop and mobile, which is important because 80% of traffic uh, for Shopify stores is always coming from mobile devices. So this team is good to go and definitely is gonna skyrocket your orders and conversion rates. Cool, so we got this from ChatGPT. So let's kind of compare the t-shirt so it didn't hallucinate or create any you know uh, bugs or issues it looks pretty much on spot so that's good 
And now let's bring in the example with it with the seller pick. Okay, so let me just go back here and find the image. That's not the one. And those are the glasses. And this is the one with it. Okay, so again, they both are pretty, pretty realistic. Uh, the difference is we asked the IGPT to create more of a lifestyle image, um, where this is more of a studio grade. Again, so you can pre prompt or change the prompt with IGPT and ask instead of casual lifestyle background, maybe to have a studio environment. So again, this is pretty good, stacks up pretty good. Um, I, I can't really complain about this one down. They both are pretty good on their own way and they look uh, pretty realistic. So if you ask me which one you should be using, again, if you have ChatGPT uh, plus, uh, plus subscription ready, then go ahead with ChatGPT, no need to subscribe to SellerPick. But if you are in between and if you need only AI to create your product images or process them or change backgrounds, then go with Telepic. But if you're going to be using ChatGPT for content, for Shopify, and for creating images, then definitely just stick with ChatGPT because there's no need to spend extra $25 on a AI platform uh, where ChatGPT can do very simple stuff. Okay. And again, this is all thanks to these prompts. If you're a beginner, you probably wouldn't be getting something like this because you need to know the basics of prompting to get better quality product images at the end of the day. So again, if you don't want to go through the hustle of figuring out the prompts and learning them, then just go with seller pick and then use ChatGPT for the basics. But again, you will need to be paying for two subscriptions. That's the only thing to really think about. Cool. So now let's test ChatGPT for accessories. Okay. So I'm going to start a new chat so we don't kind of, uh, pollute the single chat. So I'm going to bring in the glasses and I'm going to use different prompt. So since it's a object, so first of all, I'm going to use the same prompt, um, just to see how it's going to look with a person. And we're going to do a, yeah, the same prompt essentially. Let's see how that compares. And then we're going to do a prompt for an object. Um, we essentially will try to place the glasses on an object and make it like a professional, just a, product picture with chat GPT. Cool. So this is actually pretty good. Um, it's, it's a pretty decent looking picture. I like the background it looks pretty realistic. And even the AI model, um, did a good job in terms of creating something very lifestyle and casual. So if we select the glasses, so again, looks pretty much one-to-one. -one. So again, good job. Uh, if we compare it to this one right here, not this one, that one. So again, both are stacking up pretty good. Again, it's just different age group here, but again, you can kind of ask the IGPT what kind of age group you want. That can be only fixed. Again, we're focusing on overall quality and output. And again, I would say 10, 10 to both of these platforms that did a pretty good job with this one. So now for the last one, let's try how it stacks up to create something more, I would say branded in a sense. So I'm going to be using this prompt right here, which essentially creates the product alongside its professional packaging. So sort of a, a brand kit. Okay. So I'm going to do this and again, upload the glasses and now let's send that to ChatGPT and let's see how it can handle slightly different prompt. Awesome. So here is the brand kit. Again, it's pretty cool. Um, it even added a, uh, French version because I think the, the brand originally is French. So it's pretty awesome. Kind of got creative here, uh, gave it a, nice branding package. I'm just curious if it actually uh, exists or it hallucinated that. Actually, it's a real brand. Um, let's see what kind of images they have. Cool. Uh, let's see the box. I'm just curious if it actually just kind of pulled it off the website for an idea. Actually, it didn't. So these are the original branded boxes and ChatGPT came up with this. So pretty cool. Again, bonus points for creativity ChatGPT. And again, it looks pretty good. The only thing I do see it is hallucinate with the small letters here. But again, that's pretty common when it comes to small details. If you don't explain to ChatGPT, it can hallucinate and create small, small, uh, I would say like bugs, uh, visual bugs in a sense, right? But again, it can be fixed with, with prompting and adjusting your prompt. So again, but again, for basic prompt and just uploading an image, ChatGPT did a pretty good job, 1010. And you can adjust these prompts how you want it. And again, you are getting all of these 10 prompts for free guys. So make sure to go ahead and check out uh, the link. It's going to be below the video in the description box. There's going to be a Google Drive link. So definitely go ahead and download it so you can start using it for your Shopify uh, e-commerce brand. 
Awesome guys, and that's essentially it. Uh, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, if you found it useful, make sure to like and subscribe and enable notifications so you get notified when I'm be uh, when I'm gonna be dropping the next video like this because I'm always sharing the latest and the best ways that you can utilize AI for your Shopify or for your dropship brand to make things easier and faster for you so you can focus on actually building brand and scaling your business instead of focusing on uh, redundant and you know tasks that can be handled by AI. So as always, if you did enjoy the video, like and subscribe and I will see you next time.